Hello, sir. Would you like some water? Hello again. Would you like some water? Sir, thank you. <laughs> oh! Oh! You incompetent imbecile! I am so sorry. That was actually all my fault. Don't take the blame for him. I knew he was going to be trouble the second I saw him walk in. This, this is ridiculous. Nobody should have to sit next to this. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen B. Here we are. Oh, it's not fitting. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. You're rubbing all up against me. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm just, I'm just having problems with my bag. It's not rocket science. Oh, here. Let me help you with that. Thank you so much. I don't know why they make this so complicated. They're not complicated. You're just not smart enough. Sir, that's not very nice. What? I'm just being honest. I mean, look at him. You know, you should never judge a book by its cover. There you go. All set. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Uh, excuse me. Do you mind if I get in? Do you have a choice? Hi, my name is Tom. It's nice to meet you. Nice book. How you like it? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to read. What did, what did you say now? Well, I, I'm sorry. I was just, just asking about the book you were reading. <laughs> okay. Well, it is called Advanced Physics, and it is by Thomas Watson, one of the most prestigious physics scholars in the entire world. And I would explain it to you, but I don't think you're smart enough to get it. Well, actually, I like physics, you, you see. You know what? I really don't want to be bothered. If you have a problem, call the flight attendant. Okay, I'm not here to babysit you. Hello, sir. Would you like some water? <sighs> Hello again. Would you like some water? Sir, thank you. <laughs> oh! Oh! You incompetent imbecile! I am so sorry. That was actually all my fault. Don't take the blame for him. I knew he was going to be trouble the second I saw him walk in. This, this is ridiculous. Nobody should have to sit next to this. You know what? I demand a new seat immediately. Um, okay. I'll go talk to the captain and see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do that. I'm glad we have an understanding. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm so sorry. Can I have you clean that up? No. Clearly, you are not smart enough to do anything right. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I've spoken to the captain. Great, did he find me a new seat? Even better. He's upgrading the ticket to first class. Ha 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 ha, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, and thank goodness I don't have to spend the entire flight sitting next to you. I'll just grab the suitcase. Oh, no, no, that's not my suitcase. You got the wrong one. Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't more clear. The captain is actually upgrading his ticket to first class because we all agree he shouldn't have to sit next to someone like this. Wait, that's ridiculous. Excuse me, sir. How would you like to move to first class with us? We'd love to have you there. Wow, I, I love that. Great. The captain will be over shortly to personally escort you. I'll grab your bag. Thank you. Excuse me. And oh, by the way, that book is even better the next chapter. What are you talking about? How would you know? Because I am Tom Thomas Watson. I wrote that book. Wait, you wrote it? I, I don't understand. Like, you, you don't look like somebody who- Well, I guess you should never just a book by its cover. Mr. Watson, we have your seat ready for you. Great, I'm coming. Have a nice flight. I still can't believe I'm sitting next to the Tony Robinson. Well, you better believe me. Come here. Tony! Jada? Who is that? It's my wife. What 
you doing here? You were supposed to be at basketball practice. But instead you're here cheating on me with another woman. What do you expect? All famous people cheat. Who are you? You have really changed. All of your promises, they didn't mean anything. Promises? What are you talking about? How did you forget? You see, the first time you made a promise to me, we were just kids. It's fourth quarter. They just down by one. There's five seconds left on the clock. Tony Robbins gets the ball, he shoots, and... He scores! Yay, Lakers win! Thanks for being here. So, Jada, do you really think I'll make it to the NBA? I don't think so. I know so. I just hope you don't change when you get there. What do you mean? Lots of people become famous. Then they change. Hey, listen to me. No matter what happens, I'm never going to change. I promise. And then last week, you made that same promise. The Golden State Warriors choose James Smartman. They chose James for the first pick? It's okay, baby. You'll be next. I just know it. And for the second round draft pick, the Los Angeles Lakers select Tony Robinson. Oh my God! Oh, Tony with the Lakers! Congrats, baby! Wow. <laughs> I always believed in you. Oh, and look! You're famous. That's what we talked about when we were kids. Hey, listen, don't think I forgot about my promise. No matter what happens, I'll never change. So you see, you promised me that you would never change. Well, I'm sorry, but sometimes things don't work out the way we want them to. I supported you when you were nobody and now you treat me like this? Good luck with your new life, Tony. Jada is heartbroken. She walks away in tears. Without Jada to keep him focused, Tony starts partying and drinking all the time. He quickly forgets all about basketball. Before long, Tony starts to get into trouble. One day he gets pulled over and arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Everything quickly goes downhill for Tony. He ends up in jail and then receives a letter telling him that his offer to play in the NBA has been canceled. Tony lost everything. And then one day, he happens to run into his ex-wife. Jada? Uh, oh, hey. Wow, I can't believe it's you. Listen, Jada, my whole life really went downhill after you left. Do you think we could try this again? I'm sorry, but I've moved on. Moved on? But with who? Hey, Tony. James? Oh, wow, Jada, you really changed. Well, I'm sorry, but things don't always work out the way we want them to. Goodbye, Tony. Oh my god, dude, this is the club. Oh my gosh, Allison Day? I can't believe it's you. Can we take a picture? Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
Wow, that line looks really long. Are you kidding? You're Allison Day. I'm not gonna wait in line. Come on. Hey guys, I just saw on Twitter a really big TikToker is coming in tonight. Hey, who, what, what, what? Which walker? What? I, I've heard of that. TikToker. Uh, what? Never mind. The point is, VIP tables have been selling fast. We only have one table left. That is fantastic, right? You save that table for a big spender, right? Somebody who has a lot of money, all right? Sure. Excuse me, we'd like to get in, please. This is the VIP line. Unless you have a table, wait over there in the regular line. Actually, we'd like to get one. Do you have any available? Um, aren't you a little young to be here? You know, this isn't Chuck E. Cheese. You have to be 21 to get in. Oh, uh, I am 21. Today's my birthday. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I know about kids like you. You come into my club, you cause me a lot of problems, and you don't spend a lot of money. Why? Because you don't have a lot of money. That's not us. I promise. Are there any tables left? I have one table left, and I am not going to give it to somebody who looks like they still get an allowance from their parents, okay? I am going to give it to somebody who, who looks like this guy. All right, my man, my man. Hey, you got any tables tonight? We have one table left, and I've been saving it for a big spender. Somebody looks exactly like you. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> All right. All right, come on in. I heard we have a big influencer coming tonight. This place is going to be packed. I like it. I like it. All right, my man, let's go. Come on. Now, like I said, you can go wait in the regular line, or how about this? You can go to the Chuck E. Cheese. I'm sure there's no line there. Happy birthday. <sighs> what a jerk. Seriously. Let's just go home. No, it's your birthday, and we're already out. Besides, I need to use the bathroom. Come on, let's go. You should have told him who you were. I would if I were you. It's okay. Really, just forget about it. We're in now. I'm sorry, but you're Allison, right? We're huge fans, and we knew you were gonna be here tonight. Is there any way we can get a photo? Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, what did you mean when you said you heard I was going to be here? It's all over Twitter. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Great. It's all over Twitter that we're here. I just want to punch him in the face. <laughs> Are you seriously still thinking about him? Finally, we're next. Bathroom's over this way. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Very important person coming through. There you go. My man, thank you. I, I'm sorry, we were actually here first. You, again. Okay. Look, do you see this? This is a VIP wristband. Do you have one of those? No, you don't. And that means you do not have to wait in line. See, one day, when you no longer have to rely on mommy and daddy's money, maybe you will have one of your very own. <laughs> All right, you're up next. I will see you in the VIP lounge. My man, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Urgh, I hate him. Seriously. All right. Gentlemen, what uh, bottle can I get for you first this evening? Well, what's your most expensive champagne? Uh -huh. um, that, is, uh, that is the Ace of Spades, and it is $1,000 per bottle. But I'm certain that that's something that you can handle, yes? All Correct? Right. All right. It, we'll take it. All right. You know what? Make it two. Yes, make it two. <laughs> oh, that's impressive. Wow. Yeah. Um, how would you like to pay for that? Uh, um, it, hey. Oh, come on. Uh, put it on that card right there. Mr. Amiri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, um, uh, um, two bottles of Ace of Spades for Mr. Amiri on this card. Of course. All right, gentlemen. I really want to get a drink, but the bar is so packed, and I don't want to wait in line again. Yeah, I really wish we had VIP. Look, that table's empty. I wonder if the people don't show. Let's go find out. Excuse me, is that table open? Um... Uh, look, my friend here is Allison Day, and if you don't know who she is... No, 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 stop. Yes, I know who she is. You definitely belong in the VIP section. Come on in. Can you get a quick photo? Oh my god, my daughter's a huge fan. Oh, you just made me father of the year. <laughs> Have fun, ladies. Thank you. See? 
I told you it would work. Yeah, oh, 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 wait, but hold on. I'm sorry. What is happening here? This is the VIP section. You cannot be here. Look, we just want to get a table, okay? Let me buy this one. I just want to celebrate my birthday. Okay, well, you can't celebrate your birthday because this table is not free. It's been reserved by that party right over there. See? <laughs> yes, I know. It's frustrating not getting everything that you want because you're so entitled to Gen Zers, right? <laughs> no. It's not like that. Okay, then, let me explain it to you. You cannot be in the VIP section. See, look, Mr. Amiri over there, he just bought two bottles of Ace of Spades. Now, it probably costs more than your car. So I will tell you one more time, you either get out of my VIP section or I throw you out of my club. You know what? You don't have to, because we're leaving this dump. Great, bye. Enjoy Chuck E. Cheese if you can afford it. Oh boy, right there. Okay, come on, bring it now. There we got the Queen of Hearts mm -hmm. over there. Now we got the Ace of Spades. All right. Oh, oh no, no, please, 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 please. Let me do that oh. for you. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. I really need to talk. To you. Give me one minute, please. Listen, I am so sorry about all of this craziness, and apparently it's going to get even more crazy. We have some famous click clocker, click clocker, TikToker, and I really need to talk to you. Okay, it's give important. me one minute, please. <laughs> wow. So, uh, Mr. Amiri, tell uh, me about yourself. Tell me what kind of uh, what kind of business do you do? Um, uh, oh, we are. Uh... Little this, little. I mean, slow that slow slow mostly yeah. downtown. We yeah, work downtown. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of. Uh, there you go. Wait, Gentle don't give that to him. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh. What do you want? His credit card didn't go through. What do you mean the card didn't go through? It says it's stolen. Okay, okay that's that. It's that's just a mistake. The card is not stolen. Mr. Amiri is a very nice man. He just told me that he's a big businessman. He has a nice three-piece suit. Okay. I'll take care of it, don't worry. Look, they're gone. Looks like they didn't have any money at all. Okay, well, let's go get them. Get off your phone, Baldy. What a horrible night. I'm sorry that prick learned your birthday. It's okay, just don't worry about it. That was weird. Excuse me, Allison? Sorry to bug, but can we get a pic? Yeah, sure. Uh, hey, Allison. Wait, Allison, can we get a picture too? Me too, could I get a pic too? Who wants to go first? I can't believe those guys got away. Was everything okay, boss? No! Those two guys who took the last VIP table, they're a bunch of crooks. Will you go get them, please? What is going on over here? Why, why is everybody hanging out with these two girls? You're kidding, right? That's Allison Day. She has like 80 million followers on TikTok. Yeah, she's like a multimillionaire. Wait a minute. That, that's the internet sensation. That's the one who's, oh, oh. Allison, Allison, hi, listen. Um, funny thing, uh, a, a table just opened up in the VIP section and I would just love for you to have it. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. We'll just go to Chuck E. Cheese instead. I'm sure they'll have a table that I can afford. You guys want to come with us? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Bye. No, 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 don't, Allison, come on. That was, I was joking. I was a, it was a joke. Wait, don't follow her. Come on. Wait, guys, come back, stay here. Where is everybody going? Dad, I'm so hungry. Okay, let's get you a hot dog. <laughs> hey, Ivan. Harold. Would you get us a hot dog? Oh, I, never mind, I don't, I don't have enough. But I really want a hot dog. Uh, I'm so sorry, son. After I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again, okay? Okay. Hey, you know what, don't worry about it. This one's on me. No, you, you got it last time. I know business has been tough on you, and I can't ask you to do it again. Hey, it's okay. I might not have a lot of customers, but it's better than being hungry. Besides, I've always believed that the kindness you put out into the world has a way of coming back to you. There you go. It's okay, take it.
Thank you so much, Ivan. Can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Got an interview with Giovanni's, and once I get the job, I promise I'll pay you back soon. Giovanni's, woohoo, that's the most popular place in town. Good luck. And hey, if you want, Ruben can just wait here until your interview's over. You're the best. I'll never forget this. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Have a seat. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We don't allow homeless. I'm here for a job interview, actually. The owner, Giovanni's expecting me. Would you grab him for me? Um, sure. Sir, there's someone here to see you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what's happening? Uh, you know we don't allow homeless people in the restaurant, right? I tried to tell him, but he says he's here for an interview with you. Uh, no. The applicant who I am interviewing used to run a Kitchland Star restaurant, okay? Yes, sir, that, that was me. I used to run Harold's restaurant. You see? Come on, you're telling me that you used to run a restaurant? Get real. Will you get rid of this joker, please? No, look, look, here's my resume. I've been running kitchens my whole life. I just ran into some hard times recently after my, after my wife passed away. That's why I look like this, but I promise. You give me a chance. You know what? I can't believe that you would go so far as to make up a fake resume and a fake story just to get a job. You know what? I'm not gonna fall for your little scam, and I am not going to allow anybody else to fall for it either. No, sir, please, please. I'm just trying to feed my son. Take a look at this restaurant. You see how busy it is? You have to wait weeks in order to get a reservation here, and I did not get to where I am in life by being a fool. But I can do yeah. this. Leave. Now, before I call the cops. Okay. <sighs> do you get the job? Uh, no, son. I'm really sorry. But I'm gonna think of something. I promise. I don't understand. Why didn't they give you the job? You have so much experience. Well, let's just say they took one look at me and the interview was over. Look, I don't want you to think I'm not gonna pay you back for those hot dogs. Harold, Harold, no, that is the last thing you have to worry about. Thank you for everything, Ivan. I'll be back to see you soon. Come on, son, let's go. But, Dad, you haven't eaten all day. What are you gonna do? I'll be fine, don't worry about me. Hey, wait. Why don't you come work for me? You said yourself, you don't have enough customers. You don't need any additional expenses. Well, no, I, I can't pay you a salary, but suppose you take a 20% commission for all the hot dogs that you sell. Won't be much, but it'll be something. Really? Are you sure about this? Yeah. And you know what? As a signing bonus, why don't you have that hot dog? Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Thank you, Ivan. I won't let you down. Oh, I know you won't. I believe in you. This is good. But I got a few ideas. We'll make these things even better. May I? Yeah, of course. I'm thinking onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, mayonnaise, the things you. What are you doing here? Oh, no, wait. Don't tell me you actually hired this guy. Oh, I did. He's gonna help me turn my stand around. <laughs> well, that is like adding water to a sinking ship. Good luck. You know what? <clears throat> Here, take this. When you finally go out of business, which you will, send your remaining customers over to me, Ed Giovanni. Okay, I will just leave that right there for you. Good day, gents. <laughs> you believe that guy? Yeah, he was on the interview me. Look, if you change your mind. No, 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 no. I stand by my decision. Looks good on you. Thank you. Feel good to wear one of these again. <laughs> yeah, I do need you to do one thing for me. What's that? Let's make that guy pay for what he did to you. Make him eat his own words, all right? 
Harold is more passionate than ever to help Ivan turn the hot dog stand around. Using his years of experience working in a kitchen, he starts experimenting with new toppings and creating his own style hot dogs. When his son takes a bite, he can't believe how good it is. Harold then expands the menu to include even more items, including corn on the cob, burgers, and sausages. In no time, customers start lining up so excited to try all the new food. The business slowly starts to pick up. As word spreads about all the amazing new food at the hot dog stand, more and more customers start to come, so excited to eat Harold's food. Even a news reporter comes out to do a story about the man who went from being homeless to being an amazing chef at this popular hot dog stand. Sure enough, the story ends up going viral causing even more customers to flock to the hot dog stand. And then one day, Giovanni happens to pay them all a visit. Hey, what's going on here? What's, what, what's with this line? Oh, you didn't hear? That man used to be homeless, but now he's running a booming hot dog stand. Food is incredible. It's such an amazing story. Oh, I guess that's why nobody's eating at my place anymore, huh? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm again. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I guess you do know how to cook after all, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, judging by your line here, it looks like you're doing something, right? But listen, I was thinking, I feel bad about how I treated you before, you know, and um, why don't you come work for me at Giovanni's, huh? Really? Yeah. I thought you didn't want to hire me. Yeah, well, I, I, honestly, you know, things have... Um, gotten kind of slow at my place since you became the talk of the town, you know? <laughs> so, um, what do you say? Uh, thanks, but, uh, no thanks. We're happy here. Okay. Whatever. You know what? Since I'm here, why don't I try one of your hot dogs, see what all the fuss is about, huh? Sure, but, uh, you're gonna have to wait in line. You want me to wait? You want the, the Giovanni to wait? No, this is ridiculous. Get out of my way. <laughs> hey, hey, boys, how's it going? Great. Sales have exploded, man. Check it out. There you go. Oh. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just go ahead and keep that? What? What are you talking about? This is your money. Well, I did the math, and based on all the sales from the last couple months, your 20% completely covers the cost of the hot dog stand. So, congrats. That money's yours now. Wait. Really? Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. It's going to change our lives. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ivan and I. I don't know what to say. Please, please, it should be me thanking you. I've actually been able to open up two more hot dog stands because of all the money that you made me. <laughs> that makes me so happy to hear. I guess it's true. Kindness that you put into the world as a way of coming back to you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Karen. I live next door. I thought I heard some gunshots. We used to never have to worry about the neighbors at our last place. That's just place. my son playing his video game. That loud. I hate this dump. Great! Now we have to deal with Barton. Well, you won't be living here long if you don't get your kids and that dog under control.